right now at five. Without a border, you don't have a country. You don't have a country. The president takes a stand amid a growing backlash. We are over children separated from their parents, creating a political battle at the border. And President Trump said today that he does not want to separate children from parents who illegally cross the border into the U.S. His comments come as Senator Bill Nelson and Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz were denied access to children being housed in Homestead. We'll have more on that in a moment, but first we want to turn things over to Elliot Rodriguez, who has more on the backlash to the president's zero policy tolerance policy. Elliot. Well, Rick and Rube, President Trump says he doesn't want to separate children from their parents at the border, but he won't stop doing it even though he could stop it. The president says the correct way to stop it is through legislation passed in cooperation with Democrats. President Trump addressed a zero tolerance policy on immigration at the National Federation of Independent Business Convention. He called on Congress, specifically Democrats, to put a stop to a policy that his administration put in place. As a result of Democrat supported loopholes in our federal laws, most illegal immigrant families and minors from Central America who arrive unlawfully at the border cannot be detained together or removed together. One of the loopholes the administration has cited was actually signed by former President George W. Bush, but it hasn't stopped the president from blaming Democrats. Democrats love open borders. Let the whole world come in. Let the whole world. MS-13 gang members from all over the place. And let me tell you, when the president is saying that this is all on the Democrats, that it's their law, that's just not right. That's not true. This morning, the president tweeted, Democrats are the problem. They don't care about crime and want illegal immigrants, no matter how bad they may be, to pour into and infest our country, like MS-13. They can't win on their terrible policies, so they view them as potential voters. Miami Congresswoman Ileana ross Layton responded, No POTUS saying immigrants infest our country is repugnant, reprehensible, and repulsive to dehumanize those who wish to make a better life for themselves and their families flies in the face of decency. The real infestation is only one of your baseless rhetoric. The zero tolerance policy was also blasted by the United Nations. Stories of children, some of them just babies, being separated from their parents as they seek safety in the U.S. are heartbreaking. Children, no matter where they come from or what their migration status, are children first and foremost. Texas Republican Ted Cruz is working on a solution for the Senate side. He's introducing a bill that would reunite separated families, authorize new temporary shelters to house them, and double the number of federal immigration judges to work through a backlog of asylum requests. All of us who are seeing these images of children being pulled away from, from moms and dads in tears, we're, we're horrified. This has to stop. The president has previously said he would only sign immigration bills that addressed his four pillars, money to build the wall, finding a fix for DACA, ending family-based immigration, and ending the visa lottery program. Well, right now, House Republicans have two bills that would address all four of the president's needs, but so far they do not have enough support within the Republican Party to pass, it, pass either of those bills. Rick and Rube, back to you.